there's a law that I think a lot of people uh, fail to consider. And as a lawyer, it's it, it's not a law that you read on the books. Like it's the law of unintended consequences. And the Trump conviction, uh, I think, will trigger that law into effect. And while Democrats and liberals may be celebrating and Republicans may be agonizing, uh, this conviction is definitely going to divide the country more. But what's more problematic is that it will appear as a political prosecution. And this prosecution wasn't done at the federal level. It should be, if they had all the information to prosecute this case, the second Trump was out of office, the allegations happened eight years ago. It could have been brought in the federal court where it was way, it, it, it would have suffered from far less partisan accusations, but instead it was brought in a district uh, with a democratic uh, backed prosecutor, Democrat, democratic backed judge, and a jurisdiction of people who vote overwhelmingly Democrat. So it, it, it can't look anything but political. And the reality is, even if you look at Alan uh, Gershwitz's commentary or a lot of the scholars out there, is that these charges would never have been laid against any other politician. So when you give discretion to a prosecutor to lay a charge, and that prosecutor has been funded and backed by the Democratic Party, and he knows that the judge's benches will be Democratic backed previous donors and supportive of the Democratic Party and the jury pool will be mostly democratic you are now be you're now able to target a political opponent in a jurisdiction that is very favorable to yourself and what you have to consider now that they've opened this door to political prosecutions because really people don't care every politician who's ever won anything has probably paid off an ex-lover right like let's let's just accept that as human beings who aren't fragile teddy bears who think the world is perfect. They've paid somebody off to keep them quiet so that they can secure power and help change the country in accordance with their policies. Kennedy was with Marilyn Monroe. It happens on both sides. So you have to ask yourself, is this really the case where it had to happen, a prosecution had to happen? And I think if you're open-minded <clears throat> and honest, you'll see that objectively, this is politically motivated. Because the second that verdict came in, the whole internet was awash with a convicted felon can't be president. So there was a giant marketing campaign that was pre-planned behind this. And uh, the first question that was asked of him is, can a conviction felon win an election? It's all over the internet. It, it may be effective branding and messaging, but it's going to be seen as political. And what's going to happen now is a Democratic president is going to have to be very careful about what they do in their own country that may be Republican jurisdictions. So if anything happens in a Republican state or district, right, they will do everything they can to find a way to indict an ex or potential president or potential candidate. And so now that it's happened at the presidential level, you're going to see it probably at the state level within between congressmen who are going against each other, between mayoral, con uh, uh, mayoral candidates going against each other. So while the liberals dance and think, uh, <coughs> I saw a prosecutor in our jurisdiction yesterday smiling with glee at the, at the news that, that he was convicted. And it just shows like the, the lack of forethought. And, and one of the big dangers, having been an ex-prosecutor, is when you give prosecutors the power to, to glee in convictions without understanding the impact of justice on a greater scale. When they're just winning and, and smiling because they like to win, because they're just so into their team. But this prosecution, although they may be celebrating and a bunch of liberals and Don Lemon are celebrating, the far-reaching consequences, the law of unintended consequences might be very, very uh, bad for the United States of America and for Western democracies. Because now it looks like the doors are open and once one side does it, another side's gonna do it. And one of the hallmarks of our societies is that we didn't prosecute political opponents. In Russia, if you're running against somebody, you end up getting prosecuted. And how far away are we from that? Like moving to totalitarian societies doesn't happen in one big step. It's a bunch of tiny steps. And this one just looks like the justice system in the U.S. has now been co-opted for political purposes. And you're going to see all candidates trying to get each other charged and get in front of the right juries. And it's going to... It's going to immobilize the empire, which needs to be focused on being effective and protecting everything it's done that's great. And I think um, the people who are celebrating, it's going to be short-lived and it's going to be a wild ride. we got to watch what's going to happen next. That was a great video.